Well, what's up, guys? It's the Casual LZ back again for another Digimon TCG video. Today, I'm bringing you a green deck profile, and it's going to be my green Rust Tyrannomon deck profile. So, yeah, um, I'm actually looking forward to profiling this deck. It's been a bit difficult to build, I'll admit, because, well, the Rust Tyrannomon is sort of a supported deck. Even though it's not the best deck out there, it's sort of support with the teams like Tiger and. Yeah, and Rust Randomon is the boss monster of the deck. So yeah, having an actual archetype is interest. Uh, well, a uh, semi archetype, I guess, is sort of interesting. So anyway, ooh, that's the zoom. No, but anyway, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. I don't want to waste too much of your time. Starting off with the Digi X, I play four copies of Tanamon, and then one copy of Frymon. So Tanamon, when attacking, if you've Digivolved this turn, this Digimon gets plus 1000 DP. And then Frymon, while well, your opponent has two or more suspended Digimon in play, this Digimon gets plus 2000 DP. I don't actually know how I feel about these guys, uh, these ratios. I'm still testing, I still don't know how I feel. Um, I definitely like Frymon a bit more in this deck, but since Tyrannomon, Ross Tyranno came, um, Attack into your opponent's unsuspended Digimon. If you have a green tamer, it can be a bit interesting and you might not Digivolve as much. So I have thought about maybe playing two or three Frymon and then no th two to three Tanamon depending on the Frymon ratio, if that makes sense to you guys. Maybe I'll be able to update this one we do get 1.5 and who knows, maybe the lineup will have changed. Anyway, moving on to the rookies. I play four copies of Agumon. Four copies of Tentamon, four copies of Goblimon, and then finally two copies of Palmon. Okay, let's start by talking about Agumon. It's essentially the starter deck Agumon, but for green. So plus 1000 DP does come up because a lot of your Digimon in this deck are pretty weak. Um, 5,000 to 6,000 DP for the Champions and Ultimates. It's definitely weak, it's not the best at all this deck. But hey, being able to boost them up a bit does actually help and there are plenty of ways to boost up your cards in this deck. And then with Tentamon, when attacking, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon with 3,000 or less DP does come up more than you think. I'm just going to say that right now. It is a nice inheritable skill. And then for Goblimon, because it's too hard play and it's also fun to evolve into if you need. And then finally, Palmon. Um, just because we don't have anything better, it is a hard play, unfortunately. So it kind of does suck there. But anyway... With Palmon, um, reveal three cards from the top of your deck, add one level four Digimon among them to your hand, and place the other cards on the bottom of the deck in any order. You have to hard play it to get the effect off, but hey, it does come up, and yeah, when it comes up, it comes up, and it can actually help you get to your cards easily. Two, two is all you need. It's really not something you're going to be evolving into. Anyway, moving on to the champions, and we actually play a semi-interesting lineup. I'm gonna say. We have four copies of Woodmon, four copies of Carboterimon, two copies of Vegemon, and then finally two copies of Tyrannomon. So let's start off with Woodmon. He is the blocker in deck, mandatory four. I have thought about cutting him down to three, but I do love having four in this guy in the deck. With Carboterimon, this Digimon gets plus 1000 DP for every suspended Digimon your opponent has. Really, really nice inheritable skill. Um, can get up to some really, really big numbers when Flower Cannon's involved. Yeah, that's really all I have to say about Carboterimon. It is a nice booster, and yeah, your opponent will have to think twice with when attacking with Carboterimon under one of your guys. We have two Vegemon, because Vegemon just want to evolve into 6k. It's the Dark Tyranimon of the deck. Well, I at least have two of it because four Tyranomon is a bit much in my opinion. Tyranomon has a sort of Palmon like effect, but it happens when Digivolving. You can reveal three cards from the top of your deck, add one level five Digimon and one green Tamer card from your deck, and place the other cards on the bottom of your deck in any order. So, what I like about Digimon is compared to Yu Gi Oh! is that you have, can resolve the effect as much as possible. So, say you only reveal like a, a level five or a green Tamer. You can still add the one to your hand and not have to worry about losing the other. I, I love that ruling for... I do love that ruling. It does fix up the consistency of the deck a bit, being ruled like that. 
But yeah, two to Rhinomon, I figured three fours a bit too much to play. It's not exactly as good as the red to Rhinomon, which actually profile I profiled a deck for red to Rhinomon Rush a couple of weeks ago, so check that out if you haven't and are interested. But yeah, it's nothing like that. It's just a good way to get high level to Rhinomons, essentially. And 4k DP does not want, I do not want to play a guy with 4k DP as a three or four of. But anyway, moving on to the ultimates, this being a Tyrannomon deck, we play four copies of Metal Tyrannomon, three copies of Akuamon, and then finally the one copy of Cherrymon. So with Metal Tyrannomon, it has an inheritable skill where when this Digimon deletes one of your opponent's level 6 or higher Digimon in, in battle, unsuspend this Digimon. It's a bit situational for when this comes up, it is really not the best inheritable skill, but I do like four of them because you can boost them up with stuff like Carboterimon, Agumon, um, Tanamon, Frymon if your opponent has that many suspended Digimon. It can come up, especially if 6k, 6K is not impressive at all. It's really bad, I seriously wish it was like the Red Tyrannomon from um, Boost Set 1. That 10k vanilla DP is pretty good. But yeah, um, I do like this card of 4. I have thought about cutting it to 3 for maybe a 4th of Kuomon or a Lilymon, but hey, it's Tyrannomon Rush. Tiger gives these guys piercing, so on the off chance it does come up. It So with a Kuomon, when this Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon in balance, survives, gain a memory. Nice and terrible skill, for, good for memory. Like, you need a lot of memory in this deck. Even though Tiger does reduce the cost to evolve into Tyrannomons, you still need that extra memory now and then. And then Cherrymon, just an extra blocker for us. Um, I do love just him having having him as a one-off. He's essentially the green Andromon where you don't have to pay memory to attack with him. So if that comes up, it's actually pretty nice. Um, you're like you're gonna attack with a blocker anyway, but hey. And also he's two to evolve into. Yeah, that's the best thing about green. Like they are all super cheap cards to evolve into. Anyway, moving on to the Megas, a small, actually pretty small Mega lineup actually. We have four copies of Rust Tyrannomon himself, and then two copies of Puppetmon. So with Rust Tyrannomon, uh, when you have a green Tamer in play, this Digimon can attack your perhaps unsuspended Digimon. So that is actually pretty damn awesome because Tiger gives him piercing. With Tiger, you can attack your opponent's unsuspended Digimon and still do piercing. So if they want to avoid having stuff being pierced, you just slap down a Ross Tyrannomon. If it's still your turn because of memory, you'll be able to attack your opponent's unsuspended Digimon and then still do a security check after they've been taken down. It's just a really, really nice. I love that. I actually really love that. It also has a second effect where when this Digimon deletes one of your opponent's Digimon by battle and survives, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Pretty, it's pretty nice. So for one, if you have like Dimension Scissor, for example, this guy can clean out boards and take games, especially with Tiger, because that piercing extra security check can do wonders. And then with Pubamon, just a generic heart. You guys know Pubamon by now. I've used him in a lot of decks on this channel. Actually, I think until now I've used him on every de in every deck on the channel. I'm not going to bother explaining him again. Never sleep on Papamon, that's all I'm going to say about this awesome, awesome card. And then moving on to the option cards, we have three copies of Flower Cannon, and then one copy of Dimension Scissor. Flower Cannon, um, I do not like four Flower Cannon. I've been testing a few green decks lately, and... Have you four, th I've had three flower cannon in my hand several times. Maybe it's how I'm shuffling. Maybe it's a consistent. Maybe it's how the deck works. But I do not like see multiple flower cannons in my hand, especially three of them. But I'd rather have other Digimon, or in this case, Tame is like Tiger in my hand. I'd rather see those rather than flower cannons. So having three is kind of nice. You hopefully will see it in security, but if not, it's okay to play because you can still suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. And then we have one copy of Dimension Scissor, the spicy tech of the deck. So it's free to play, and then one of your Digimon gains the following effect for the rest of the turn. When this Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon by battle and survives, unsuspend it. So give that to Rust Tyrannomon, and you are clearing out the game, essentially. Rust Tyrannomon can do several attacks, and with Tiger, he has piercing, and he can suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. So, yeah, he can. He can do a lot of stuff. It is actually it is actually pretty crazy and security effect added to your hand. So hey, you flip the one over over in security, it's okay. You can add it to your hand and then kill your opponent on your next turn. It's um 
it does it does feel good pulling that off. It really, really does. But anyway, moving on to the final cards of the deck, the Tamers. Um, this is going to be a bit of an interesting thing because I play four copies of Tiger and then two copies of Mimi Tachikawa. I will say this right now. I have wanted to play at least one copy of Izzy in this deck, but I could not find the room. Because you do need a green Tamer to do Rust Tyranimod shenanigans. I did want a copy of Izzy in here, so it's a 7th Tamer, but hey, what can you do? 6 Tamers, you'll probably see um, at least one in security, hopefully. But anyway, with Tiger, all of your Digimon with Tyranimon in the name gain piercing. And then when Digivolving into a Tyranimon, you can suspend this Tamer to reduce the memory cost by 1. Rust Tyranimon costs 4 to evolve into. You can drop it to three with one of these, and if you somehow get all four of these out, you drop that to zero. So it's really, really good for memory efficiency, especially with a memory tamer like Mimi over here. And we all know what Mimi does. We love her. She is the amazing tamer in green, the best tamer in green, I should say. If you have a level five or higher Digimon in play, you can suspend this card. Either hatch a Digimon into the raising area or move a Digimon from your raising area out onto the field. Like, do I even have to explain how broken that is? Mimi is the reason green is so damn overpowered and will continue to be overpowered for the near future. That's all I really have to say about it, and that's really all I have to say about the deck. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section below what changes you would make to this deck to make it better. Let me know what your favorite deck to play is in the Digimon TCG. Like this video if you enjoyed, um, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and then go down into the description box below. Follow me on Twitter for more updates and uploads. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here for now, so until next time, stay frosty.